All right, welcome back everyone. It's George Glove Relays. Thought I'd do a quick video here of a, a few gloves. These are already done. Um, it was a local customer and he had uh, four gloves that were left out into the rain and he wanted to see if we could bring them back. Two of them, I don't think so. He hasn't come and picked these up yet to look at those other ones to uh, make another evaluation. But uh, it was kind of pricey getting these all brought back and relaced and everything. So just want to make sure we're on the same page. But they came back pretty good. Of course, the Nakona was worth it. Feels really, really good. Um, you wouldn't know it was out in the rain. You know, it's got some issues here and there. But, you know, what glove doesn't? So uh, anyway, got those done. We'll get them back. The main focus of this video is this Rawlings catcher's mitt. Um, he had the hood on here and it was all ripped. Um, so he just went ahead and take it off. There's, there was just nothing left to, uh, sew back here and the finger, he, his finger must be just be a little big and this is a little small, but it would just rip down this side and cleaned it all up. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, patch back on there and, uh, make it, you know, you can always take it off down the road, but put it on there. But the main focus on this video is knots. How a lot of these gloves just have knots all over the place that are just essentially useless i'm gonna have stills to show you um this one always cracks me up and i think why they put this one here it's not really a knot it will be a square knot is they just use short little pieces i just use nice long pieces make it nice and secure doesn't change anything on the glove but it uh just makes it look cleaner then what i do on this i'll show you a video down the road here soon uh I bury the knot, but I also run it really long in here. So when you do this coil, you're actually, besides the the uh, corded leather here, which has helped tie it in, you have a piece of leather that's also being tied around here, which really adds a lot of reinforcement. There's a lot of gloves I get that are torn right here. They're just ripped out because the balls are just being, they're just throwing so hard these day, days. So... So, you know, this is just kind of silly. You got this silly little knot. But so like I said, I take leather and I'll show you a picture where it, it goes through there. And then I do the coil. So uh, get this done. And then the other thing I'll probably try and talk about. I don't prefer the crisscross. You can kind of see the old leather. Um, I like the, the straight through. And I'll try and do a little demonstration on why I think the, the uh, straight coil is much better um, like this one. Just so much better, so much leather going through here than the crisscross. So we'll try and do a demo and show that, but get this relaced in black and we'll sort of a work in progress. I, I did eliminate a lot of knots. That was my point. Um, there was just some really silly ones. This one is tied to the coil. We'll get to that later, but there was a knot here that ties into here, but there's no down in here. It's hard to see. But, you know, you, the pros do it. They bury it and lock it down. It's well locked in there, so not a problem. Um, really, really nice glove. Uh, clean up a bunch of knots here. It's just so much cleaner. Oh, yeah, one right here, too. Now, you know, I did leave this long enough where if he wants to pull it out, he can tie a knot and put it there. Um, I just think this is just an easier way. If it gets loose, he's real easy to pull. I say he, it could be a she. Uh, you can pull it and keep it tight, but for the most part, it just sits there for the rest of its life until the next guy. Um, you always want to look for this feature on the uh, mitt. It really helps tie this down. A lot of times they cheap out and won't put this there. I always add it. Um, it's just, uh, I just, I think it's an individual lacer just does them. I've never really understood it. Cleaned up one of the knots here that's, here that's tied into here. Um, like the pros do it, you tie it all down and then you lock it into this coil and it's, it's not moving anywhere. Then the uh, coil knots, I just bury them. They're long enough if you, they want to pull them out. They can tie a, a square knot there. This is tight. Comes out for this. So there's, and they have its own hole. So you have to put a knot there. <laughs> you can't bury that one. And you can't bury this one here. Uh, they, uh, there's a hole here. So anyway. Uh, what's funny is I always forget what I did on the first part of the video. So main focus on this is the coil. Um, I'm not a fan of this one. Uh, I prefer like the, uh, this, this type, just the coil. I call it, this is the X coil. <laughs> 
for the better part of a lack of a term. It still has the same amount of leather, doing the same kind of tie on, on each end, but I'll put it still up. The coil like this, you put two long pieces and can really tie it down to each side. It gets it nice and secure, and then you go across with the coil. It's just a much stronger, tighter design. This, I actually just kind of think this is decorative. I, I don't get it. Um, you know, I guess there's some theory on the spinning of the ball, slowing it down. But if you're catching the ball up here as a catcher, um, you got other problems. But for the most part, I think it's just decorative. It has the same amount of leather. It's just used differently. Got this done. Sorry for the long video. But uh, really, really nice glove. Um, I was telling my wife, it's not the heavy, heavy duty one, which is nice. Sometimes I'm not a catcher. I'm left handed. I, I just would not want a super heavy glove uh, as a catcher, but this one is a, a mid-range, but it still has all the beef in the pocket and the web to uh, take the heat. So get this sent back to the customer. Thanks for watching. Sorry for the long video, but uh, just trying to go over some. Oh, yeah, I did fix the, uh, I just kind of, he won that cut out. There was just no way um, it's all sewn in there. So I said it's just it's either too small or his son's fingers too big in this case it is a, a, a son um so he said yeah just cut it off and just glue it back down there actually he just said cut it off i decided to put this on there um added protection it may come off over time but again it's not hurting anything leaving it there but um just uh you know figured what what the heck i think it actually looks pretty cool for what it is um anyway talk to you soon please subscribe share 